Now, a new round of outrage at the state capitol. Republicans try to ram through a plan to weaken the incoming Democrats while protesters demand the GOP respect the will of the voters. Our Emily Byer joins us live in the newsroom with the latest. Emily. Brooke, the Republican plan is on the fast track. The bills were introduced Friday with public hearings yesterday and votes are expected today. The proposals would strip powers away from the incoming Democratic governor and attorney general, move the presidential primary and limit early voting. The move would cost taxpayers almost $7 million. Democrats accuse Republicans of doing it to help a conservative candidate's chances in the state's Supreme Court race. Another bill calls for cutting down early voting to two weeks. Right now, local officials set their own schedules. Republicans say the change is about fairness, but Democrats call the move partisan and point out state lawmakers previously passed a similar policy that a federal judge eventually blocked. The Dane County clerk read lawmakers a letter from 64 clerks around the state and the Joint Finance Committee listened to several hours of public comments on the lame duck bills during an often lively marathon hearing. It would be an unfunded mandate which would waste taxpayer money, create logistical nightmares for clerks, and greatly uh, confuse voters. I follow rules. You are not following the rules of democracy, so you forfeit you. respect. Thank you. No, I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. And now that the Joint Finance Committee advanced the bills, we expect the Assembly and Senate to vote on them today. The Speaker says they have strong support in the lower chamber. Their fate in the Senate, where the Republican majority is just 18 to 15, is less certain. Emily Beyer, NBC 26.